Welcome back, MTG Joe here. It is back, my favorite event on the MTG Arena ladder, or not ladder, but client, the no ban list, all access, historic format. Now, they call it no ban list, but it's almost no ban list. They are banning three cards. Channel, which was just like a stupid combo card that led to like non-games, uh, Tybalt's Trickery, and Demonic Tutor. Everything else is legal. All the uh, nerfs have been unnerfed, so Teferi's three mana, Unholy Heat that we have in this deck is dealing the six damage, everything like that. We are playing today a uh, Obosh Mono Red Blood Moon deck. And the cool thing with this format is you don't need to own the cards. So I don't own the multiple copies of Ragavan. I don't own the copies of Blood Moon, but you can add them to your deck. You just select no ban list as your option. Um, so you can go no ban list historic and it works like that. And we're going to run into it. So the kind of goal of this deck is ideally to turn to Blood Moon. So Ragavan creates a treasure. You get to go Blood Moon turn two. Otherwise, it's kind of a red-based tempo aggro deck. Dragon Raid's Chandler helps you set up your draws, gives you an evasive creature. Lightning Bolt, uh, got the Japanese alt art on this one, but three damage, instant speed. Swiss Spear gets bigger. Ragavan is another threat that lets you play cards off your opponent's library, and then it ramps you up. Spike Field Hazard as a spell and a land, so we're playing 22 lands thanks to Spike Field. Unholy Heat deals damage, uh, 2 damage. If we have Delirium, it deals 6, so that plays really nicely with the Dragon Rage. We have lands, creatures, enchantments, um, instants all kind of mixed into here. Uh, that works with the Unholy Heat. We have Season Pyromancer that refills our hand, and then playing that with the combination of Fable the Mirror Breaker, so you can activate Fable's once you have it going on pyromancer to draw two cards each time bone crusher giant gets around the abosh requirement of being one three or five mana odd uh, so it gives us access to stomp blood moon turns all non-basics into mountains so we have utility lands in our deck but they can turn into uh non-lands or like mountains if we do have it so den gets shut off ramen up ruins the fiery islet all kind of get shut off if that's the case and I posted a list earlier where we had Strike It Rich uh, as more ways to accelerate. I think having played a couple games with this earlier, I want to try Ox of Agonis just as a card that we can discard early to Season Pyromancer. And then it's another way to refill our hand. So we are going to run through it and run it out. I wanted to try a Bosch because I got the cool art for it as well. I uh, posted a video with five decks that you can try out. And then I had another video earlier. Uh, when we had the first go around with some more decks with like field of the dead stuff of that nature so lots to try out we're gonna do a couple of these videos uh there's like an intruder alarm uh, combo there's a golgari citadel storm with like necropotence uh, so playing the busted cards trying it out uh so we will give this a shot i think i'm like four and zero, oh, just kind of casually playing this earlier with this deck it's is even if you're just looking to get into historic it's honestly a pretty solid way to just try out the stuff we're gonna go first we're gonna try this we have spike field or the lightning bolt as a cheap removal give opponent a hello okay so dragon rage comes down so we are gonna let them decide on the surveil and then we'll go do the spike field hazard so they kept it on top. Get rid of DRC here. So in this matchup, Blood Moon might not be the best. We'll see how blue base they are, or if they're three color. They could be something like Death Shadow. And the basic island, and they have Shredder. So I am going to get Fable going, and in this matchup, we are likely going to bin the Blood Moon. If they didn't have the basic island, I would play Blood Moon, but given that they already have the basic there. Let's see all the heat come down, and this being a pain line is actually doing quite a bit of benefit from us or for us. So we're going to get rid of Ox here to get some utility there. Um... I actually think I 
Going Swiss Spear here. Into Pyro is okay. So they go Lapse. We do take a bit of damage there, but... Drying it again next turn is fine. So this is just like, is it Merktide without Merktide? See Lightning Bolt, but they're missing a Red Land. Lorien Revealed, way to get that land there. Shock in. We have this come down. I think we're just gonna Pyro here. Could help us find another land, at the very least. It gets us going. Because now that we have a, a couple must answer, we're getting close to this ox flipping. Um... I think... We just pass the turn here. Now, I could have targeted my Season Pyromancer. They could have had a removal spell. But I kind of want to get them to react here. Um, another Season Pyro on top is good. Counterspell. And then we just copy Pyromancers repeatedly and just outdraw them. So even though we're not playing blue, we have a ton of cards. One thing to note, Bowmaster is the original text on Bowmaster. So we can get severely punished by Bowmaster. I think like trying to play the counterspell game, you're better off being more proactive. The counterspells are useful if you like playing spell pierce, I think, in that kind of shell. Okay, opponent goes first. Swiss Spear into Unholy Heat, set up a Blood Moon. Have Fable if Blood Moon's not reasonable. Have both pieces of removal if needed, so I think this is a keep. Having spike fields just a way to kind of insulate our land count if we do flood, but then also have a means to uh, ping a Regaman on one. So just maximizing having 10 one mana removal spells for a Regaman on the play. Opponent, what you doing? Really like this art of a Bosch. I like all these kind of alternate arts. I got the foil Jingantha ones. They were very cheap for both my pioneer list. Hello, where are you, opponent? So there's a lot of flexibility with these this deck I find. Just having access to like the pyro, your ox, you're able to kind of loot to find the key pieces that you need, while also then having a lot, like just unholy heat being able to scale up uh and deal six. It's still showing the nerf version here in the untapped, but dealing six the answer shieldred for effectively one mana. It may be right if we like were to tune this deck that a Bosch is maybe not where we want to go because we're not able to play Mishra's Bobble. Mishra's Bobble both is a prowess trigger as well as card draw and it's another artifact that works with Unholy Heat. The other card I was considering was playing Mishra's Reach Search Desk. It's a one mana artifact that provides similar card advantage. Okay, especially because we drew the, the third land here. We're just going to go here. This is likely going to be a matchup where the Blood Moon is not something we're going to play, so... It could be.
opponent could be like on an Uro Oko pile. Just limiting their ability to kind of get that off. So because they play Castle Garenbrig, I am going to Blood Moon here. They could have a counter spell, but keeping them off two greens, like the Garenbrig's going to be shut off as well. So they're basically relying on this Llanowar Elf, which we can take off the battlefield. And it takes them off their blue mana, so that gets rid of Uro or Oko. Okay, so we've got a doubling season out of them. I think we set up the Fable. Play out Ragavine. And then just try to draw into some burn. Okay, so they are making all the tokens. Okay, Ox of Agonis is not a terrible draw. Let's attack in first. Regavan will give us some information. Could Primal Vigor, but I actually don't think Primal Vigor is that great. Oh, this doubles for everyone. That's actually pretty nutty. I'm trying to find a burn spell. I wanted to take him off the line or else. All right, Blood Moon did its thing, cut him off blue mana, couldn't do anything, and we just kind of popped off. Curious with this one, where we're at. I, I think, blood, like, Regaman would be interesting to see if it actually gets the unban. Uh, we go first. We have Monkey. Monkey means turn two. Blood Moon. We keep. Go, go, monkey, go. Don't, don't do it. Leave my monkey alone. Um, I think I'm going to dash here. It guarantees me having the blood moon drop next turn. And depending on how their mana base is situated, I think we could cut them off black mana, which could be useful. Yeah, cutting them off black will be good. So they can flash back the bolt. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Um... I think we just passed the turn. I forgot Spike Field just comes in as an untapped line with Blood Moon. Okay, so they did hit the basic swamp, which is kind of annoying. Unholy Heat, we don't have Delirium. So they're getting aggressive, which does bode pretty well for us. I would like a way to kill Arcanist. So I'm gonna blitz here, try to find a fatal push, and then worst case I make the treasure that I can use Fable. A okay, one ring will not work, but this gives us a way here. We could kind of play around this Dreadhorde Arcanist flashing back certain removal spells. Now they could just dump something, get the free cast from Arcanist, but I think we're fine. I'm probably going to bin Bone Crusher, to be honest. Huh, interesting. No spells, which is good, but they might just have spells in hand.
Okay, Dark Rituals at Shieldred. Just the One Ring. So One Ring is back to its original font. This is deals combat damage, so it doesn't work the way we want it to. They could Dread Horde into Dark Ritual to cast another spell. Actually, given... I think we... Take Ragavan off the battlefield. That's an easy trade for us. With Fable flipping, I think we are going to keep Bone Crusher. Okay, so that's really good as well. Um, I think given the fact Fable's going to flip anyways next turn, and they're more than likely going to draw some removal, we're just going to play out Ragavan at this point just to be mana efficient. Cutting him off black. I can't imagine they're playing too many basic swamps. We see the third black leaf come in here. So we may be limiting them to be able to play Shieldred. Blood Tithe here. Um, actually, an interesting. So we're definitely going to take the reflection off. I do think we probably take Dread Horde out still. Because I can attack in with Ragavan here. It kind of forces their hand. They need to do the trade here. Now they are getting resources at a faster rate than us. Oh, interesting. So they give me the draw, hopefully not a land. Blood Tide's fine. And I think because we've got the blood, I am going to keep this Ramanapa runes in hand. If they have something like Thoughtseize, they might be inclined to use it. And then it also just gives me something to loot here. Yeah, so they did hit their second swamp. If they have Shieldred, we're pretty much dead, but... We'll probably Blood Tithe first. Okay, so second one ring comes down, resets. Since we drew Pyro, we'll play Pyro. Um, we'll just play a Dragon Rage. No point of attacking with Monkey this turn because it's a combat damage effect. Opponents drawn cards. They are looking for the Shieldred in their deck if they have one. They have Bowmaster, it's pretty bad. They are digging. Alright, opponent's had enough. Can't find the answer. Blood Moon locks him out. Interesting that they're playing Dark Ritual because it doesn't let them cast a lot of their stuff. And like Dark Ritualing with Dreadheart Arcanist isn't great because you get the mana in the middle of your combat step as opposed to like post combat. Like turn two Shieldred's probably really good, or turn two One Ring. Uh, opponent goes first. I think we keep this. It's a reasonable hand. We have interaction for their play on one. It lets us be aggressive if needed. So I 
I think we go monkey on one. Because this kind of forces them to keep two creatures back. And if they don't, then I just double Swiss Sphere. And if they do only keep one back, then I can shock Swiss Sphere. I have some options. Yeah, so with Thalia, they might feel safe. Gonna do this. Probably unholy heat to start. Uh, with Adeline, it's a little annoying. Creature instant. Adeline's probably like the worst card we could have run into here. Maybe we should have let them attack first. Uh, so I can shoot that attack with the monkey because they might choose not to block here if they do block it's fine like either way i'm happy with what will happen here because i can go to their combat step they're either going to ramp me up or I trade and like use Bone Crusher here. Lunark. You don't think I care about Lunark? You do want to answer. I guess we can. Because if they attack with Adeline, then I get the value there. The one thing that kind of gets me here is if they have Thalia. Intrepid's fine. They don't have the mana. Sequencing, not the best out of the opponent. Fade out here. And then just with Swiss Spears. So like even though we didn't have necessarily the four mana removal spell, we're able to just keep putting pressure on them, refilling our hand. There's interesting sequencing there, why they didn't play their line first. Seems like they're just like mono white aggro life gain esque. Like, they should be playing Esper Sentinel. Like, there's the Humans deck that's in Historic. You can play things like Mana Tithe or uh, Swords to Plowshare. That's a very cheap removal spell. Actually, uh, let's try this hand. I'm interested. We don't have a one mana interaction spell. So we might just get... Yeah, so... Probably on the play, I shouldn't have kept this. On the, sorry, on the draw, I shouldn't have kept it. Uh, this is actually an interesting line. Do you take the Lord out or do you take? I think you take this to take them off Collected Company. So this could be my Intruder Alarm list.
uh, with Intruder and Larm and Impervious Perfect, you can go infinite. Blood Moon. Cool Mountains. Nice. Nice. Alright, so that was just like a beautiful... Let's do one more because I am currently... Let me double check because I think I'm 9-0 or 10-0. 9-0. Alright, let's go for the, 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 10, the 10 ball. Taking Llanowar Elf indirectly turned out to be the right play. Uh, opponent's on Jengantha. The opponent goes first. Do have a draw, but I'm limited. I think we mulligan. That's much better. Put Fable back. Go so DRC. Um... Actually, I think it's right to take out the goose here. I don't want to get turned to Teferi'd or Oko'd. This will let me set up DRC and then the Fable for the following turn. While I would love to use the Stomp on the Gilded Goose, I think it's important. Like their their three mana walkers on turn the three mana walkers are very good on their own. Um, so we have a couple options here. I actually think we keep them off mana. We do need an untap line for Fable, but if it doesn't work out, then I just play. Get yeah, their Samwise combo. Um, I think I'm going to get Fable going. It gives me an attacker, ramps me up. Helps me find Blood Moon, possibly. We could just be dead, though. They could be comboing us this turn. Happy to trade there. Weird decision there. Since they hit double cat, the removal doesn't really matter. We are going to bin these two. They have two cards in hand, so I do want to hold up removal here. And to be honest, if they don't do anything, I'm probably popping this islet. We need a blood moon this game. Just hit the combo. Oh, they missed it. Okay. They had the food, they could have done it. That's fine. We take those. Let's find something good. A hey, Blood Moon. Yes, I just need to survive this turn. 
I mean, if they have their third Sam or their third Coco, they get me. If not, I lock them out of the game. Thank God that the hand is a great start. Second row strider. We're about to end this player's career. My friend. So, just gonna pass here. I'm just gonna start getting the season pyro going. They have like no way to make food, or I don't think they're playing basics, this deck usually doesn't. But I'll pyro on end step. I guess Jengantha fixes their mana. So that could allow them to hit their combo pieces. Um, I do think I like the Flyers. Question is, can I hit... What do I have in the graveyard right now? So no enchantment. So enchantment into holy heat works. Get there. Pyro on top is perfect. Nope. Tack, 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 tack. Keep that back. So getting Jengantha off was big there. They'll block the Ragavan here. And then we get him. So clean 10 0 with the list. This deck is awesome. I want all these cards in Historic and I will play it every single day. Let me know what you think, what decks you've been enjoying, and we'll catch you.